James here for another episode of One Hour at a Time. So now I've managed to get everything inside the software. You'll see I've put these black areas around the main viewports. If I actually go to Outlines and hide them, I had to put those in because if I don't have them there, like you'll see if I press Play now, you'll be able to see the cloud sort of floating through. But if I now play it again and turn the outlines on, so now the clouds appear off the screen. So you'll also see she has a little bit of a particle effect as she flies, and then when she runs out, it stops. And the sun rotates a little bit, and the cloud slowly flows across. So that's the basic scene at the moment. The clouds I put a little script on each one, which just takes a start point and end point, and it slowly moves it across the screen. And they've all kind of got a different random speed. So every level of clouds are going to be a little bit different, and they're going to go at different speeds. And so hopefully that should make for an interesting sky. I'm not really sure where I should start the clouds, or whether they need to start a little bit lower, maybe here. But now I've also got to start, I've got to make the bad guy into something that's a bit more interesting now. And also I've got to put bad guys which are appropriate for this. And I'm going to also make the crate a little bit more interesting. And I'm also going to put it onto a parachute and let it sort of drop down slowly through the sky. Which I think will be kind of cool. And if it hits the ground, it disappears. So you've got a time limit on the crate for this level. So thanks for watching. And if you have any feedback, please let me know.